Okay, so if you're watching this video, uh, obviously you're either having an ABS fault light come up on your dash, a warning buzzer, or you have no brakes. Now this video is basically covering uh, your ABS accumulator. Now if you look in your engine bay and you have a big black brake, bo um, brake booster, then this isn't the video for you. So if you look in your engine bay at your master cylinder and you have this cylinder here, then uh, probably got you to watch on. Now, this video is in relation to my vehicle, which is a 2006 petrol Land Cruiser. Uh, but I am aware that other makes of Toyota have an accumulator. Um, so yeah, it doesn't matter if you've got a Land Cruiser or not, this also may be able to help you. Now, the symptoms with my vehicle I had an ABS light and buzzer come up on my car, followed probably about five minutes later by practically no brakes. So I put my foot on the brake pedal and it was hard as a rock. Practically took two feet to stop the vehicle. I had a diagnostic done on the computer, which brought up accumulator fail. For those that um, don't know what an accumulator is, uh, the older vehicles had a brake booster to give you pressure when you're driving. These vehicles more or less use a cylinder which holds your pressure, a manual pump underneath it, and a small 12 volt motor. Now, what happened in the case of mine is the little 12 volt motor below the master cylinder, it's a bit hard to see, but it's directly underneath the master cylinder, had failed. I uh, got a quote from Toyota who said that you have to replace the whole assembly for about three and a half thousand dollars Australian plus fitting. I wasn't happy with that quote, so I pulled mine apart. Simply, uh, you disconnect these leads here, your two brake lines on the front, um, and the four bolts on the inside of the firewall and the pin that goes to your pedal, and it all pretty much pulls straight out. I pulled the motor apart, which as I said, is directly below the master cylinder and the commutator was totally worn out. Now, I again spoke to Toyota who said they don't just sell that part and they wanted to sell me the whole assembly. Now, if you're in Australia, there's a company called Rapid Rewind in Queensland that for around $200 will totally rebuild that motor. New brushes, uh, totally rebuild it, new bearings and everything. And on reassembly, that's, that's pretty much what I did. I sent mine away, got it back, reassembled it, bled the brakes, and it was as good as gold. Now, the only other advice I've got is um, when you bleed, bleed the brakes, it is a two-man job. You need someone pumping the pedal while you bleed each of the four wheel cylinders. Um, it, the manual, the Toyota manual will say to totally disconnect the brake lines so that you can bleed the master cylinder. However, I found just by uh, loosening off the two brake lines without totally removing them, just loosen them off enough so that they leak. Uh, that, that was enough to allow me to bleed the master cylinder. Now, as I said, I just used the Toyota manual. I followed it to the T and the instructions were perfect. So if you don't have a Toyota manual, I bought mine for $5 Australian online. Um, I'll post the link below this video so that if you haven't got the manual, yeah, you can pretty well download it instantly for around $5. So uh, that's pretty much it. If anyone um, in the United States or anything has a company or someone that uh, can rebuild these motors, happily post the link below for, for viewers so that they can get theirs sorted. That's pretty much it. Thank you.